the music we make is uh, mostly uh, songs that I've made, and uh, and uh, I use a lot of time writing those songs. But and then uh, after that, it's a very long process rehearsing with the full with the whole band, and and all the guys have a lot of inputs on the music, and we and we try hundreds of you know versions of the song songs and uh, improvise and uh, basically try to turn everything around to to check if there's something that we're missing or that we could uh, elaborate on uh, and uh, and then we go into the studio and we kind of treat the songs uh, with a, a remix kind of attitude so uh, everything's allowed and and uh, we can end up you know cutting and editing stuff and uh, and also use improvisation as a method of making music so the the question here is about how much the improvisation is in our music and that very much depends on the songs uh, I would say and um, I guess that the improvisation thing is not that that important for us in a in a on a studio album but live we uh, want to you know improvise much more and uh, so so the concerts can be quite different from each other I guess we Yaga started uh, at least 10 or 12 years or something before the whole new jazz thing uh, happened so uh, I think we, we never felt that we were uh, uh, part of that scene because uh, it wasn't you know necessary for us to be part of that uh, at all and we were quite eclectic when it comes to uh, musical taste so uh, for us that the the whole new jazz trend was not uh, important for us and uh, but I guess um, why it sounds fresh is that we you know we have a, a very strong uh, <laughs> we have a very s strong will I guess to to uh, try to, to to do something new for ourselves and uh, on every album we think our, our way to think about a new album is to, to think how can we do this almost the opposite of the previous album and then just try to make something new and something that is unique f at least for us so uh, I guess that's how we make it sound fresh in the Norwegian jazz scene there's uh, a very important uh, tradition which is all the albums of Norwegian artists uh, recording through the label ECM which is a German uh, label and uh, you have people like Jan Garbarek, Tadi Riftal, Jon Christensen, uh, Are Andersen, uh, Jon Balke, Christian Wallner, a, a bunch of really really good uh, jazz artists that uh, kind of had had this Nordic sound in a way, <coughs> which is also uh, important for uh, for us actually. Uh, and I, I think if we have anything to do with that scene, it's probably in the way uh, the melodies are shaped. So uh, I guess you can hear some kind of like Nordic. Uh, melancholic uh, feel in the music I would say and uh, except for that we you know we always try to stretch out and not be a part of that scene it's important to to kind of have that tradition but uh, it's really not important to stay in that tradition so uh, so it's a huge factor. Uh, I've you know listened to Norwegian jazz since I was 
like ne nine years old or, or maybe younger. And uh, it's, uh, it's a big thing in my life, but it, it's, uh, I don't think, uh, at least with this band, it's always been about, you know, trying to get inspiration from all kinds of music. And that could be electronic music or hip hop or uh, rock music or classical music or whatever. It's always been very open and uh, just trying to blend all these things together uh, to make something that we feel are unique. That's, that's the most important thing for us.